Let's now take you to Kwara State where the management of Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission has linked the high number of deaths recorded in recent boat mishap in Kwara State to non-adherence to safety precautions on the part of those who lost their lives in the unfortunate incident. The managing director of the commission, Abubakar Yelwa, who was uh, represented by director of community in the agency, Mahmoud Umar, gave the revelation during presentation of subsidized fertilizers to victims of flood in the five River Rhine local government areas in the state. Yawa, however, regretted that despite appeals for rural dwellers to use life jackets when on boats ride fell on deaf ears. Life jackets. I want to emphasize on this. It's quite unfortunate that even despite the distribution of life jacket, which cost the commission close to 1.6 billion naira last year, were not put into use. Otherwise, lives that were lost three days back in Patigi will have, have been saved. Abu Bakr Yewa sees the opportunity of the event to call on the Kwara State House of Assembly to enact laws which will compel rural dwellers in the River Rhine communities and boat operators to use life jackets while traveling on water. We want uh, a law to be, to be enacted for the usage of the life jacket by our riverine communities so that nobody travels on our rivers without wearing the life jacket. This will save a lot of uh, lives that we have been wasting along our riverine communities. The life jacket we distributed last year has the capability, a floating cap a capability of seven hours. I also want a law, the same law, to restrict the transportation movement on our river, our riverine community in the, in the night. Meanwhile, Kwara State Government has announced plans for legislation that will impose punishments and fines for violations of safety protocols and water travels in the state. The proposed legislation will be sent to the parliament, according to Governor Abdurrahman, Abu Razak during a condolence visit to the families of victims of last Monday's boat accident disaster, which claimed about 106 lives. We're deeply saddened about the event. Uh, measures will be taking place. We'll be having discussions with NEWA to encourage them on um, enforcement of safety codes. And, uh, we also would be sending a team to Lagos State to see the Lagos State Laws work. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.